Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a brief introduction to particle flow systems in 3ds Max. So, um, first of all, particle flow systems um, are usually used where you um, have a source which you want a flow to occur from. Um, so in this instance I'm going to just have create a tube in which um, uh, ball bearings are f um, flowing out of. So first of all I want to create my source geometry and particle geometry um, and then I'll open up um, the particle flow system. So um, just in standard primitives I'll create a tube and then a sphere which will be my ball bearing. Okay, so now to get to particle flows, go down to the create tab to particle systems. Um, So the one I'm interested in is a standard flow, which is quite simple. So I'll drag and drop that in. Um, and <coughs> for the event, the birth, we kind of keep um, as a default. And then you can go to the position icon. And so this will, um, if we look in our viewport, it creates this little um, position icon which is where um, particles will flow from so ideally we want that to really be um, associated with our object so I'll just select it and move it <coughs> so now it's kind of looking at you can see it's kind of inside the tube <coughs> and we can see that here as well <coughs> so anyway if we um, come back here now <coughs> We want to change the position icon to um, <coughs> position object. So we drag and drop that over the top <coughs> and then add and select the tube. You can see now it's come up tube one. And um, if we just we can do that animation to simulate what will, will happen, you can see that it's all coming off the sides here as well. Um, so a way of um, changing that is to go to edit poly. I'm just going to select some of the inner faces of this. So I'll go to polygon and click the animate so it remembers the polygons I select. And now that's taken that first row, I might just um, Okay. 
so and then we change this to select places and what should hopefully happen is you can see they're flowing from the inside face <coughs> so speed if we play this we can see it comes out pretty quickly so um, we can drop down the speed maybe to half and maybe increase the uh, variation a little bit. using like a standard shape and at the moment um, you can't see that because in display we're showing ticks rather than geometry so first of all we don't want their standard shapes we want our own ones so we go down to shape instance drag that over the top click on it and see that now as there and then for the display change that to geometry and geometry so now when we play it you can see it's beginning to take shape um, but it sort of comes out as this big huge clump so the way to change that is to you see it stops emitting at 30 so if we change that to say 100, you can have a look and it's all getting a lot more now. And if we play it on loop, you can see there's like sort of a continuous flow. So um, that in a nutshell is how to create a very basic flow. And um, this here is your scrubber bar where you can sort of test out things as you change the properties. So, both important for changing the number of particles um, and when they stop emitting, and then position object obviously very important to um, define the source of where the flow is coming from. Speed. Um, obviously change the um, animation how quickly it happens you can also play around with direction so um, changing that to random 3d it's still using those interfaces as the source but it's kind of exploding them out so not useful for what we're trying to simulate but if you're doing an explosion it might be useful um, Rotation. I haven't sort of played around with that and I won't in this tutorial. Shape instance, obviously you can change the shape and the scale and variation. So um, yeah, you can sort of make it become bigger. And more variable. And then the display, if you're working with large files, you can select ticks to just get a quick idea of what things are going to look like. And then render, we'll still render your geometry overall. So if I click render now, you can still see the geometry.